darlings, it's been a while since we've had a story time of the Naked Wife Chronicles of Miss You. But I'm back with a new selection for you. But before we read, have you subscribed to this channel? Check, check, check. Make sure you have subscribed to Church Girls Want to Get Married too, and please remember to share this story time after you're finished. Just for sharing, share for me. All right, welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married too. My name is Gianna Hilton Thompson, and I have a new story for you. And uh, it's I don't move my sea. From my book, The Naked Wife, and of course you can find it on Amazon or on my blog, check the locations. So, today's story time is, I don't know my scene. Woke up early one Sunday morning and it was as the light came on for me. I am staying because I don't love myself. I've always cared more for him than he did for me. That epiphany was very hard for me. Me not loving myself. We were blessed with two beautiful children and had a beautiful home. We had no bills, had a little money saved up, and we should have been happy, but something was just off for us. It was later that I found out that my nodding, shining armor was unfaithful. Devastated me, bro, mom. And we were separated for six months. He acted as if he was glad to be out of our home. We went to counseling, then he moved back in, only to find out that he was continuing his adulterous relationships. My heart. Just quit. And I sucked it up. Only for my keys. But deep down I wanted out. It was as if there was a war going on the inside. One day. I wanted out. It was as if. I wanted to leave, but the next day, I wanted to stay. It was as if there was a war going on the inside. My kids need their father, I would think. And the next day, I would think, why settle for these? I am only 35. Surely I am still young enough to meet someone to have a wonderful life with. But five years later, I'm still thinking, wanting to leave, but at the same time, wanting for my kids to see their daddy every day. I used to say I wouldn't stay, but now that I have churn, I can understand why many women stay with a man who's not doing right by them. The truth is, though, I realize that I don't love myself. I realize I don't love myself. 
I've always loved him more than he loved me. And I've always cared more for him than he cared for me. Here I am. Trying to keep us all under the same roof, but he doesn't even care to be with us. His behavior and his attitude reeks disrespect. He is so sarcastic. I am concerned about how he will afford child support in an apartment. You see, he's an official, um, and I'm, I'm here thinking, by God, what are his other council members going to say and think about him? But, apparently, he doesn't care because if he did, he wouldn't have cheated or he would have tried to save our marriage. And my God, what about our kids? What about our babies, our children? So if he doesn't care, why am I losing sleep over him? I realize that I love him more than he loved me. I care more for him than he cared for me. I'm worrying about him and what he's going to do, but he's not worrying about me and our kids and our marriage. I am worried about the disruption of the relationship between him and the kids, but he just doesn't seem to care at all. The only thing left for me to do is to get on my bended knees and beg him to do right by us and try to save our marriage for our children. Why wouldn't he want to save our marriage for our children? Why wouldn't he want to stay in the same home as our children? I realize now that I am more concerned about him than I am about myself because, my God, I don't love myself. I love him more than I love myself. And, you know, I realize that's a problem because I love him more than I love myself. And I'm realizing that I don't love Myself. What do you think of this? I don't love myself. What advice would you give to this poor wife? What would you tell her? What would you do if you was in her shoes and her situation? You realize that you love him more than you love yourself. You know, girls, my daddy always told me, Janice, baby, don't you ever love a man more than he loves you. That's why he had me to break up with my college sweetheart. I was 21 years old. And he said, baby girl, you know, you love him more than you love yourself. And you need to let him go because that's not what God has for you. Ladies, sometimes you just have to let him go because you love him more than you love yourself. Girls, that's not good. Mm -mm. That's not good, girls. So, if you're in this situation where you're with somebody that you love more than he loves you, baby girl, like my daddy say, you're going to have to let him go. Because at the end of the day, my love, 
You're going to be running around trying to do everything for him. Work five jobs just to keep him happy. Because you know why? You love him more than you love yourself. But darlings, please leave it in the comments for me. Have you ever loved a man more than you love yourself? Are you currently with a man, not a husband now? You, if you marry, you need to see a counselor. But my dating girls, if you love him more than you love yourself. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, 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 not good. So, girls, be sure to subscribe and be sure to share for me. And tell somebody about church girls want to get married too. And then I'll see you on our next story time. Bye-bye, darling. Bye, honey. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Adios. Au revoir. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be sure to subscribe and share. Bye. Mwah.